this video, we're going to be looking at spearmint tea and how spearmint tea could be an effective anti-androgen that could help with male pattern baldness. If you want to find out about spearmint tea, make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we do tons of science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. If you're worried about your hair loss, you can click the link in the description to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. You'll have to answer a few short questions, then you'll receive free expert advice on how to combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. It's the very first link in the description, so go and click that now. Let's get into the video on spearmint tea. Now, while spearmint is a delicious addition to foods and beverages, new research has shown it's also a powerful anti-androgen. For men with male pattern baldness, this may prove to be a new and effective natural hair loss treatment. In this video, I'm going to explain spearmint's role in the treatment of hair loss. This will include a look at the most recent research on the subject, as well as ways you can add it into your hair care routine. So first, let's answer the question, can spearmint tea be used to treat hair loss? While research on the subject is still new, there are indications that the use of a spearmint supplement can help treat androgenetic alopecia. How does it work? Well, the link between spearmint and hair loss was actually made when spearmint showed to be an effective treatment for excessive hair growth in polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, patients. PCOS is a condition in women that leads to elevated androgen levels, namely free testosterone. As a result, those affected suffer from cosmetic and psychological effects. Now, when spearmint was taken as a supplement, however, free testosterone levels were significantly decreased. These results were also seen in an earlier study performed in 2007 in a similar patient grouping. Now, just before we go any further, everything that we do say is backed by science. So what we'll do is we'll link these studies for you in the description. Now, you may be asking, what exactly does this have to do with hair loss? Well, in men suffering from androgenetic alopecia, the cause is believed to be a sensitivity to the androgen hormone DHT. This hormone is produced from the interaction between free testosterone and 5-alpha reductase, an enzyme. If spearmint tea can reduce free testosterone levels, there would be less DHT produced. Now, at this time, the scientific evidence surrounding the use of spearmint as an anti-androgen in regards to its effect is in regard to its effect on women. However, anti-androgens in the treatment of AGA have been repeatedly proven over the years. There are a variety of treatments, natural and not, that are effective at treating hair loss because of their anti-androgen activities, including ketoconazole, RU58841, finasteride, rosemary oil, and stinging nettle. So, what about the side effects of using spearmint tea? Well, the risk of side effects are fairly minimal, both when taken orally or applied to the scalp. As a safety precaution, it's best to, to test spearmint oil on your wrist before applying it to the scalp. It is possible to suffer from an allergic reaction uh, from certain components within spearmint, such as carvone. In women or women who are pregnant or nursing, it's important to speak with your physician before supplementation. Internal supplementation may cause harm to the fetus and whether it, whether it transfers to breast milk is still unknown. As with any supplement, it is possible to suffer from a life-threatening allergic reaction and symptoms may include rash, hives, nausea, difficulty breathing and swelling of the lips, tongue, throat or face. If you experience such a reaction, stop use and seek medical attention immediately. So how could you add spearmint into your hair care routine? Uh, now, as current research indicates, supplementation with spearmint is best taken orally. However, there are benefits to external use, which I'll get into later. Now, the first thing you can do is drink it as a tea. In a majority of studies done on spearmint's effects, the participants are instructed to take the supplement in the form of twice daily tea. You can purchase spearmint tea at the shop, but the most potent tea will be the one that you make at home. All you need is a tea diffuser or a kettle and loose leaf spearmint leaves. Now, you want to add spearmint leaves to your diffuser Place them in a mug and pour boiling water over the diffuser. Steep them for at least 5 minutes and to make a stronger cup of tea, keep the diffuser in while you drink. Next, you want to add a generous handful of loose leaf spearmint to a mug. Boil 1 cup of hot water in a kettle and pour over the tea leaves. You can steep the leaves for as long as you like, though we do recommend 
uh, a minimum of five minutes and you can leave them in for longer for a stronger flavor and now another option is to take spearmint tea as a supplement it's going to be a much quicker way because you can take it in the form of a capsule supplement such supplements contain concentrated doses of spearmint and this means that you can take one or two daily to receive the same benefits as a few cups of tea the supplement can be taken with or without food However, if you experience any mild side effects as a result of supplementation, taking them with food can help to reduce them. And also, you could apply it to your scalp. Now, just before we talk about this, we also did a, an experiment on green tea and how green tea could actually improve hair loss. So one of our, um, we got one of the hair guard team to apply it topically and drink it for seven days. So we'll link that to you in the description if you want to check that out. Now, as mentioned, spearmint oil can be applied topically with good results. In fact, not only will it act as an antiandrogen, but it can also stimulate blood circulation. Keep in mind when applying essential oil to your scalp, you must dilute it properly. Undiluted essential oil can cause severe skin irritation and even chemical burn. Now to dilute, we recommend one drop of essential oil for every five milliliters of carrier oil, and a good carrier oil might be olive, canola, almond, or coconut. Then to apply it to the scalp, add 10 drops of spearmint oil to three and a half tablespoons of carrier oil. Mix the combination well and then apply directly with your fingers. You then want to massage the mixture into your scalp using small circular motions and avoid using your nails. Leave it in for 10 minutes and then rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. Now, as research continues, it's becoming more and more obvious that many natural methods are effective in the treatment of hair loss. Spearmint is one and its anti-androgen properties make it a possible treatment if you have male pattern baldness. Only with continued research will we be able to find out its true worth as an AGA treatment. However, it doesn't hurt to experiment with its use to see how you respond to its supplementation. So guys, that's what we want to show you today on Spearmint Tea. Make sure to go and check out the video with Alex applying green tea onto his head for 7 days. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.